Hello, this video tutorial is giving faster feedback in Google Classroom using screencasting. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, giving more specific and more in-depth feedback using a simple screencasting tool, Screencastify, in your Chrome browser. So you can see right now I am in my Google Classroom um, and I am going to see my assignment. And so I'm going to open up my assignment. Um, I love the new comment bank, by the way. Uh, however, sometimes, you know, typing in um, comments is not quite as effective as giving uh, that, that really solid feedback that the student can listen to, especially thinking about those uh, visual learners um, and they're able to see it and hear it rather than just have to read it. So I use a extension called Screencastify. Um, there's other screencasting extensions for Chrome. Um, if, if you need to find Screencastify, you can just go ahead and um, do a, a search, screen, Screencastify Chrome extension. You're going to have to enable some permissions. It's fairly simple. Just click allow. All right, so I'm ready to give my feedback. I click the extension and I'm going to go ahead and click record. And I'm going to record my entire screen. So you're waiting and thinking about my feedback. So, hombre, I, um, I'm going to give you some feedback. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about your image here. Uh, one thing you can do with your image is I'd like you to kind of take up the whole space. Um, you can do that uh, by clicking your image, making sure I'm selecting the right one based on the blue uh, outline around the image. I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and click and drag the corner and that way I can keep it in the same proportion and not shrink it. So I'm going to take up that whole space. Um, my second suggestion here is I think you need to read over uh, what you wrote. So let's go ahead and take a look. One nice spot in space is the mod. So think about how you spell this word. I recommend this location is because it's awesome. Uh, think about in class, we've definitely been working on some more uh, specific adjectives that we can use. And so go back to your journal and look at some of those more specific adjectives. Hopefully these help. And please let me know if you have any questions. You can just send me a private comment right here. Uh, thanks a lot, hombre, and have a great day. So then that was basically my feedback, and you can see I gave him very specific feedback, and to type all that up I feel like would have taken a lot of time. Um, here's my video you can see right here. It's a minute. It's not too long. I think that's a pretty reasonable amount of time. Pause this real quick. Then I can also uh, go back here, and I can undo the changes I did to his moon, and that way he has to do it. Um, you can see the screencast right now is uploading to my drive. This is because this is the first screencast I have actually done in a car. Um, so here's this. Once this uploads to my drive, the cool thing is it's going to pop up a link uh, right here for me. Um, with that link, I can just simply click on it, click copy. Then I'm copying that link again. I don't have the link yet because it's uploading to my drive. Copy the link. I can come over here to classroom, um, or excuse me, I should can come over here back to him, and in the private comment box, I can go ahead and paste the link to the screencast. Um, that way the student can actually sit, watch the feedback um, that I've given him. Um, sometimes I find it's helpful to ask the student to reply, um, you know, that they've seen it. Yes, I just watched it. That way I can see when they've seen the feedback. And then really I'll be able to tell if they've um, taken the feedback into consideration by their slide. Again, I think this is really helpful for our visual learners, um, is going through that process of the screencasting, the feedback. I uh, hope this helps. Again, this is not quite uploaded, but uh, my link is going to be here shortly. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to trim this part out. Yay, look like my link is finally uh, ready. I can either view it in Drive or I can copy the link. So I can come here, copy the link. Link sharing has been enabled. And then I come back to the artifact and I can click Command V and paste it right there. And then uh, my student from the student side, flipping over to my student, they are in um, their view. And let's see how it pops up. Refresh the screen. And done. Five, four, three, two, one. Voila! They click on the link. The student does, and there's their feedback. The video may not have finished processing because of my slow internet, 
Thanks for watching. Please contact me if you have any questions and have a great day.